All right, now today's episode is a little different uh, than we have. It's a little bit of a Q&A. Uh, we're gonna ask some questions to three of my wonderful couples, amazing couples that are here with our Fred Astaire. And you're gonna kind of, we ask them some questions. You're gonna kind of hear how they are with their thinking and mindset and on their journey from artist to entrepreneur. So I hope you enjoy it. All right, so what we're about to watch is three of my wonderful couples in different uh, stages in their experience in life with Fred Astaire. Uh, one couple's been with us for about five months, one uh, almost three years, and one over five years. And you'll uh, you'll kind of see, and we ask them a few questions, and as we see these questions, you'll kind of see some of the evolution. Uh, again, not related to their actual uh, chronological age, but more about related to their time in this career, right? And the time within, uh, especially this system that I try to create uh, and this uh, thinking process of how, how we um, evolve from, like we said, artist to operator to entrepreneur. So to be um, first in uh, open Latin in Fred Astaire competitions and also in the USDC to be in the finals. I won't be a very good coach and inspire people through dancing, change their lives, be more artists. Uh, Tim's been here five months and you'll notice and may or may not have noticed that you know when we first come over that artist just like any of us uh, it's a lot of it's about our personal dancing and personal achievements and as we move from there uh, to, to operator and, and our, our thinking changes, it kind of evolves from it just being, and again, it's always going to be important, but it's going to go from about the team and how we help the community and how we help the team. And you'll notice that as you watch some of the other clips uh, from Barnabashian. What I want from ballroom dancing is help people uh, making a uh, living a better life, a better quality of life uh, through ballroom dancing and helping other uh, Hungarians uh, to move to the United States and uh, and make their career better. I would like to help to people also, but spread the dancing as a tool to make their life better and easier, more mobility, more fun, more enjoyment in their life. That clip, did you catch that? Barnabas and his clip you see has been with us three years. And you see how as you go farther along, the thinking has kind of changed a little bit, the responses have changed a little bit, and now it does become about more affecting people, right? Affecting people's lives. Uh, yes, of course, you want to improve yourself and learn and grow, but now a lot of the uh, the goals were related to um, helping the team and helping other people, right? Helping other people. And you'll see that even more in the next clip with Richie, who's been with us uh, for six years. And you'll see how that continues to evolve. What I want in my career from the bottom dancing is to reach people and to be able to impact them emotionally, physically and mentally. Same here. We love what we do. We found a great team to do it through and dancing has a different meaning for us now. It's not just about us, it's about enriching people's lives, um, even socially, right? Through the parties and the activities that we do, that's kind of my favorite part. All right, well, you notice in that clip with Richie and Faith, now they are, they are much closer to the operator, right? Their thinking has changed and you can see how it's more focused on the team and in the peer group, not just um, themselves or their personal dancing, those, those are important. Uh, it's more about the team and helping their peers and giving as well as receiving. And that is that transition from artist to operator. To be proud of myself, of course, first. And um, to have a house here in USA and have a green card so I can stay here in USA and work for Fred Astaire. I agree. <laughs> I want to have also our own house and maybe our own studio. My career uh, in the next five to ten years is going to be lead me uh, through the position that I will be able to affect more people and I can work with more staff and more students as well. For me I'm going to be just on a higher position in every way I can just imagine in dancing, in leading people and help to people and that's my goal. I think I would take the route of coaching like traveling around like United States in uh, most of first dance studios and to be able to reach people live and to have and share 
the love that I have for dancing. Same for me. We love dancing. We would love to achieve champion titles. We would love to take our education to the maximum so then we can coach, teach, educate other professional and students to feel what dancing has to give to the maximum level. In that last clip, how the language uh, changed and evolved from those who have been with us for five months relative to those who have been with us for uh, five years. Right? There's a difference in their mindset and there's a difference in their language and you can see as they've learned how to grow and think within our system how they are transitioning and evolving from artist to become closer to an operator and then eventually uh, into that our entrepreneurial mindset. wake up in the morning and uh, have a beautiful day is to dance of course with my partner in practicing every morning Lying. and uh, <laughs> yes and also to give my knowledge to the people and I can change their lives what motivates me in life is to see improvement uh, in other people's life how they improve their relationship how they improve their happiness how they improve their everyday life Every day it just happens once, so it's never going to come back, so the motivation is live your life in the moment. Uh, what motivates me in life is contributing to the people that I'm getting in touch with. Yes, we are very similar. Um, seeing uh, other people succeeding through what I teach them, through what I coach them, and also myself keep achieving stuff and getting to a next level in dancing, in life, new chapters and new adventures. Uh, yeah, so most people think about motivation and they think motivation is something that's just going to show up. Like you, you should be motivated first and then you'll take action. But the way motivation actually works, and what I, at least my hallucination is, that you got to get into action, you got to get into movement, you got to move, take action, uh, and then once you get some momentum, get some progress, then the motivation will show up and you'll take more and bigger action. Uh, and so to me, waiting for motivation to show up. Uh, is why many people uh, just don't take action and do anything.